Rico, you put the drip on this. Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Rico with another video. Today we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to get no latency with a high buffer size. If you got a slow ass computer like me or whatever, this technique will keep you will keep your computer from crashing so frequently while you're trying to record or maybe even at all. And basically it's just I would I would say that it's the proper way to use the UAD interfaces for sure. Um, and what they were intended for and stuff. So let's see. First thing you want to do is obviously make sure you got signal. We got signal coming through the console app and through our DAW. Um, we're just going to use output, main output that it, um, the Apollo comes with, one and two, or monitor left and right. Um, <clears throat> next thing you want to do is you want to set your playback engine to 1024. Just a rule of thumb, if you're not familiar with <clears throat> buffer size, 1024 is the highest you can go. I think you can go higher. I've seen some computers with like 2000. I think maybe that's a Windows thing. I don't know. Or maybe <clears throat> I've only ever seen it on Windows. Maybe it's just because they were like souped up computers or whatever. But anyways, the higher you go, typically you want to use that setting for mixing because you want to use more of your CPU so you can process with like plugins and stuff like that. But if you're recording, you want to go as low as possible, as low as, as your computer can handle. Mine can handle 128. Um, that's with me using my template and, you know, my bus, all my like busing and routing and stuff like that. Um, and my computer's fine. Um, I think without, if I was just to have like a couple record tracks, no plugins or anything, um, I can go as low as 64 samples and be fine. But with this new technique, <clears throat> we can use all of our computer's CPU and we can use all of that to get a lot of latency like this. One, One two, two, which I'm sure will actually... It's just doubling because of this. So, I'm sure you guys can hear that. Basically, it's super late. It's a thousand samples late, which is really annoying. And, you know, you can hear that. The ear, the human ear can pick that up. If I was at 128, if I was at 128, it's still kind of there, but it's not as bad. Um, 64. Let's, I'll see if my computer can handle it. Yeah. One, two. It's like still there but not as bad um and then you can go as low as see if my computer see if it'll do 32 one two yeah see it's like crackling um all right now, now we're back, back at 1024 which is the highest you can go as, as at least my computer can go and obviously it's super late so the next step you want to do is hit this guy which is low latency monitoring which now, now I'm monitoring through the console app, the UAD console app, and not my DAW at the same time. Because if we are monitoring through Pro Tools, then we would hear that latency because we're hearing what's happening in Pro Tools and not the direct signal from our Apollo. Which in that case, if you're using the console app you're hearing the direct signal from the interface straight to your headphones um so basically if you have this setup you're able to record at a high sample rate like i said and like i said before that's going to use more of your computer cpu but it'll also keep your computer from crashing as much um i do this almost every time just to play it safe and that's even and if you do work out of a template it's uh it'll benefit you because then your computer like i said won't crash because it, it won't i won't say it won't crash but you'll have a way better chance of not crashing than trying to record with like a low uh buffer size um so this will benefit you more if you work out of a template but basically um 
you also want to um, make sure, like I said, make sure you have your low latency monitoring on. Make sure that you're set to, in this case, left and right, um, which is pretty the standard I.O. that comes with UA stuff. And then make sure your playback engine is at 1024 samples. And like I said, this will benefit people that have a slow computer, people that want to record with like a big template, or maybe you didn't know how to set this up and now you're, um, you didn't know how to set it up and basically you were still getting latency or whatever. It's just a little bit of IO routing. I see a lot of people like complain that they're still getting latency and basically this is like the big thing. And like I said, obviously with this, um, let's say like if I were to put a plug in, let's see this, it's going to be bypassed because we have low latency monitoring on. If I take it off, then we'd, we'd be hearing both the console app and the UA, or both the console app and Pro Tools, and also that added latency from um, our high buffer size. So if you're hearing this, then make sure that's on. And then, like I said, the main thing with that is that um, it's going to bypass all your plugins that are on your record track. So if you have other plugins throughout your template, that you're not actually recording to, um, then they won't be bypassed. Um, and like I said, if you, if your artist or you want to record with like effects and stuff on, that's what you would use your inserts for in your console app. You'd use your compressor EQ. But let's say you wanted a little um, reverb, then you would just set up just like in your DAW. But you're using this, and you would just set up like reverb or delay. Come to your sends auxiliary one. And then now you have reverb or whatever you decided to add. So pretty much, um, I would say this is the smartest way to work, especially if you don't have a fast computer and you're recording on your own system. Um, if you're like a bigger studio, maybe they have faster computers typically. But if you're working with a big client or something, or just um, first time working with somebody, I would definitely work this way and not try to record so heavily within your DAW and monitor through your DAW. Um, try to use the UAD. Oh, basically, this is what it was meant for, uh, for people that don't have fast computers or people that use a lot of plugins and stuff and want to process and all that. Um, but yeah, like I said, make sure you got signal coming through. Make sure your record track's output is set to monitor left and right if you're using a UAD interface. Make sure your playback engine is set to the highest it can go so you'll have a better chance of it not crashing. And then make sure your low latency monitoring is checked because if not, then you, you will get, get this, this and, and you don't, don't want that. Um, and like I said, once you hit record, you're recording at the high, highest sample rate. It's not going to crash. not going to get any weird clicks or anything like that. Um, and Word. yeah, sample rate, it's not going to thing so, like that. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it crashing or anything like that or the client or you hearing double and latency and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a quick little video I wanted to show you guys because I've seen people complain about the UA platform and I feel like it's just definitely user error and them not knowing how to set it up or like watching a few videos or something and thinking you can just plug it in and start recording which you can technically but then you're going to run into issues like this that could be simply fixed um by just like checking a few settings and changing a few things around and making sure your io is set up right so yeah hit your boy up subscribe share Hit my waves link. People are still hitting my waves link. You get 10% off your order and stuff like that. Supports my channel and whatever. So, yeah, I'm going to head out. I'll hit you guys up on the next one. On the next UAD video. Doses. Rico, you put the drip on this.